Hey everyone, so green lenses, they're hot, they're vintage, they're retro, they're trending. Depending on how you look at it, these are kind of the must-have lenses right now. Up there with oranges and pinks and blues, you know, it's really been a colorful season for all types of different lenses. But today we're going to focus on the green lenses, see some kind of the uses and benefits and that sort of thing specific to green. Now we've done gray and brown. I'll tag those cards up here and link it down below in the comments. I'll also link down below in the little description section for all of the glasses you're going to see today to show off the greens. Because let's face it, they're all cool, right? But let's get into it and take a look at these lenses. So right to start off with, these two are gonna be more of what you know. These are the look you're gonna go for if you're looking for more of that retro chic vintage style. This one being a little bit more of a blue green, so not quite as green, kind of a sagey green you get on the AO stuff. It's really nice vintage look to this green, so I lean a little bit more this direction. This is definitely more of a trendy fashion green, so different strokes different purposes and in the back here this one's a little bit more interesting so i know we've talked about mirrors before and we're going to kind of redo that video soon i don't like it but anyways this one has a silver flash mirror on it but that base color is still a nice shade of green now as far as greens go kind of the benefit really of using a green the reason you want to select one is you want something dark but you really want to make colors pop without that strong mired shift and when when I say a mired shift, I'm talking about that very strong warm spectrum shift you get of the brown lenses. We'll pop that card up here for the brown lenses so you can read a little bit more about kind of the benefits and use of that or not read, watch. Ah, too many different formats, guys. So as far as the green, again, this is the classic. So this is actually the AO Saratoga model. This is a reintroduction. As far as that frame, if you want to learn more about that, we'll throw a card up for it as well. But this is that classic tortoise with the basic green lens. Now this is the non-polarized version of their green. I want to say, and I definitely want to make note of their green polarized as it's a good bit darker than this. It doesn't have quite that vintage green look to it. To me, that's not as cool. I definitely would lean away from the polarized in this frame if you're wanting that really nice green look. So just be aware of that if you're looking for that specific combination. As far as how their green looks, it is a very classic one. So what you'll see, you do get that little bit of a color shift and it's not extremely noticeable. You know, right off the camera just pretty quick, but you can see it darkens things up a good bit and just get a little bit of an increase in color perception. Nothing too, too crazy there. Definitely pleasing to the eye, definitely comfortable. Still blocks a little bit of the brown spec or the blue spectrum light as you would get from some of the brown lenses. Not quite as much, but it's still up there. Now this one, more of kind of that glass bottle or bottle cap green or whatever you feel like calling it. Maybe I'm just saying bottle because it's round and that's what my brain is going to. We all know I'm insane, so there you go. That's what that comes down to. So this one, you'll see right off. It's a lot stronger of a green shift, even there against the light. Once you get to outdoors, not quite as dark. Again, this is more of a fashion tint, so it's gonna be about a category two as far as darkness goes, but still works to give you a little bit of relief, of course, but you can see it still gives you really nice color perception. You can see against that green brick over there, it makes that pop just a little bit. The tree comes to life a little bit more. The red in the brick is really the interesting one. So on the ground there, you can see you get just a little bit nicer detail in the reds. And that's one of the big things about greens. They're really gonna make colors pop just a little bit more than what you'll get in other colors like the really neutral grays. And you're definitely gonna get better color perception in the greens than what you would in the browns. And that's because of that color shift that the browns are known for. Now this one splits the difference between these two. So this is this green base. So it's definitely more of that fashion color green, but with that silver mirror, it darkens it up and shifts that spectrum a little bit. Now we've talked about that before. 
I'm not gonna link that video because again, I don't really care for it, but we'll fix that soon. So you can see this makes it a little bit more neutral, definitely a lot more reflective, of course. I mean, this one doesn't have a backside AR, so that's where some of that's coming from too. But overall performance in this one is gonna be very close to that last lens we looked at. You're still gonna have that same type of color perception there not quite as bright so you know that one with the silver mirror really helps to darken things up just a little bit more nothing too too crazy going on here greens are pretty simple and easy to work with especially if you get how grays work now grays they're a lot more color neutral most greens and i even mentioned this in my video on grays which we'll link that up here but most greens are gonna be a gray base with a little bit of a green additive. So it's just to get something dark, make colors pop a little bit more and have something, well, honestly, that looks a little bit cooler. We all like a green lens, I do, it's my, uh, I'm not gonna say it's my favorite, it's tough. I, between browns and greens, it's tough. I don't like grays, I don't like blues. I like that little bit warmer color. And that's something that you still retain in a lot of the greens. You still have a little bit more warm appearance looking through the lenses than what you would see in definitely a gray by far. You can see there, you get that really nice strong green shift in this one. So that's probably one of the better angles for actually picking that up. And then right across through there, you can see actually that angle shows off a little bit more of that gray base as you get to an extreme angle on it. And of course the flash mirrors, those are always lovely and fun to look at. You can see me, hi guys. And of course, what's really fun with the mirrors, now you can't see my eyes with masks. You couldn't even tell who I was if it wasn't for everything else and the fact that we were just doing this video so you know what mask I was wearing and what glasses I was wearing and everything else that you know I changed glasses from the first of the video so as far as greens go again this is really something that's sharp on trend as far as that vintage retro look things in the 70s 80s are really coming back to life we're seeing a lot more requests for that kind of a look so these greens are certainly living in the fashion end I think they have a lot of real world application uses too. So it's nice to see some of these lenses that have kind of that double use. So you get a cool look, plus the lenses are actually useful for you and not just for show. I care a little bit more about optics and fashion and it's tough for me to balance that sometimes, but. As far as that, that's all I've got on the green lenses. If you liked this video, definitely like and subscribe. Check out some of the links down below because I always bury some fun stuff down there. Otherwise, let me know what you thought of this video, if it helped you, if it didn't, or what else you'd like to see as far as lens colors and technology goes. I definitely always like going through and updating these videos. Anyways, I will catch you guys next time.